What's up, you frickin' lunch money stealing bullies? You better watch the sass and listen up because today I'm gonna be telling you about beard butter and beard balm, why I switched to beard butter, the benefits of beard butter, and why beard butter will in essence make you as cool as the kid whose parents buy him all the Jinko jeans. You don't wanna be the nerd in Lee's pipes, okay? And if that joke didn't fly over your head, then hit the like button. And if you don't wanna hit the like button, you know, you can scram, dweeb. <laughs> All right, that's enough joking around. All right guys, let's talk about beard butter versus beard balm. Now, the main difference with a beard butter versus a beard balm is going to be a, the wax content. A beard balm is gonna have quite a bit of wax in it. A beard butter is going to have a little bit of wax or no wax. Me personally, I like the butters with no wax. I don't want any wax in it at all. That's a big, that's a big reason I'm into the Royal Beardsman here. This is Royal Beardsman. Phenomenal stuff, they might be, they might be best new company of 2020. I don't know. I mean, they're not new, but like n new ones that I found. This is a big four ounce container of butter. Amazing sense. Um, the dragon spice, I've almost already run all the way through that whole thing. Um, and you do, it, it takes a lot for me to run through a beard product because there's so much stuff I'm rotating through and testing. But anyways, check this stuff out. I'll link it down below and I'm gonna be using this one for the video so you guys can get a gist as to what kind of beard butters I like. Now let's talk about wax and let's talk about beard balm. Beard balm has wax in it. Now about maybe like a year ago, I was very into beard balm. I liked that sculpted look to my beard. I liked being able to shape it and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. Um, thanks to Dan C. Bearded, he always would he would always say, beard butter is stupid, beard butter is for nerds, and I just believed him, so I never tried it, so. But things change, and inevitably, whenever I make one of these videos about beard butter, people will be in the comment section, people that have been longtime viewers of the channel, and they will look back and say, dude, what the hell, what the heck, man? You used to rock beard balm all the time. What, what, what why are you changing? You used to, t what, is beard balm no longer good? Beard balm is still good for some people in certain circumstances. I think that most people would enjoy beard butter much more though, and let me explain why. Back when I used to use beard balm, right? And this is just a, this is a tin, I just, I scraped the label off. I didn't wanna put like a specific brand in this and make it look like I'm downing them or anything like that. But this is a beard balm, and in it contains your butters, your oils, and then wax as well. So the wax is an upside and a downside. Now with wax, the upside to it somewhat, is that it will sculpt your beard. It's like a styling product for your beard. Now the downside of wax, from what I understand, is that it just coats your hair and hydration cannot get into it. So if you have a wax that doesn't have a butter or an oil that absorbs into hair with the product, then you're kind of robbing your hair of its nutrients and moisture and it, and it just it's just a bad road to go down. Now some guys with super unruly, curly, wild, mangy beards, could benefit from using a beard balm or a beard wax. But I would very much use it in moderation and there's a workaround to where you don't need something like this if you have one of those beards. My main beard routine was basically just styling it with this and calling it a day. Um, and it was fine, it's not a huge deal. I didn't always use beard balm, I used beard oil a lot. Rotating the oil and balm back and forth helped keep the hair and the skin moisturized. But once I learned to trim my own beard, how to do it and do it well by myself, um, beard butter was magic. Now. With wax, you can put the product in your beard and shape it to how you want, but it's not gonna last for very long. You're looking at two, three, maybe four hours probably for like the ideal amount of hold before it starts breaking away and frizzing again. Um, when you learn to trim your own beard, when you learn to shape your beard how you want it, and then use a product like a beard butter, you're gonna get a much more like natural look. Like this is, this is my beard with, I just took a hot ass shower, I came out here, and look at the, I mean the beard looks good, right? It doesn't look bad at all. I think it looks great like this. I like this look. I mean, I could use like a touch up trim for sure, but now when I'm out of the shower, I take some of this beard butter right here and not a whole lot, just a little bit goes quite a long ways with this stuff. This one is El Humidor from the Royal Beardsman. It's like a tobacco vanilla-y with some kind of twist on it. Love it. Um, not as much as I love Dragon Spice from them, but that one is at home. I didn't want to bring it here in case I forgot it and didn't have it at home. I mean, that one is almost out, but I'm just gonna take it, put it in my beard, hit the skin, get everything like that. Then I'm gonna comb it out. Now, if you look at my beard now, it looks natural. It doesn't look like it's been sculpted or shaped in any way. It doesn't look unnatural by any means. It's just a much better look in my personal opinion. So what does beard butter do? What's in it? And why is it better than beard balm? Number one, like this Royal Beardsman right here, doesn't have any wax in it. And I prefer a butter with zero wax in it. I don't like wax to be in my product. The reason I don't want wax in my product, like I said earlier, is it coats your hair or your skin wherever it's on and it prevents moisture from getting in. Um, that's just something I don't want on my beard. I want a full, like a full, natural, healthy looking beard. I don't want something that is 
harming my beard in any way. Now this is not me taking wax, giving it an atomic wedgie, and tossing it in a locker, okay? This is me saying that wax should be used in moderation if you're gonna use it. You shouldn't be using it every day, in my personal opinion. So what does this product have in it? The main ingredient, the first ingredient is shea butter. Now, shea butter. What is shea butter? Shea butter is just an amazing, just all around ingredient for your beard. If you watched my last video on how to make beard butter, I use shea butter as my main ingredient in that as well. Shea butter is great as far as it penetrates the hair, and then it also coats the hair as well. And it just provides conditioning, moisturizing, and nutrients to the hair that you wouldn't get if you're using wax, which seals it off, right? And then also a lot of oils and a lot of butters don't necessarily absorb into hair. Shea butter does. It's a super great butter. It's very cost effective. Um, coconut oil is another one that absorbs really well into the hair. Um, actually it absorbs better than shea butter does, but shea butter is not gonna let you down. Now let me hold these up here and I'll show you some like texture and consistency of these products. You can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is Beard Balm. You see how it comes off and it's very like, it's much stiffer, I guess is what you would say. It's not super stiff, but it takes a little effort to push your fingernail through it. Now this right here is an unopened thing of beard butter. Let me show you the consistency here. It's like effortless, it just glides through. Okay, that's starting to feel like a weird porn. All this beard butter, I can just take it, rub it on my skin. It's great for your skin as well. Now with the beard balm, this one doesn't have a super high wax content, but it is there. There's definitely some wax in it, you can tell. It's much stiffer, it's not as smooth as this beard butter right here. And again, this is the Royal Beardsman stuff. This stuff is, it's classified as a whipped beard butter. So this is a butter without wax, and then they whip it, and then they put it into containers, and the texture and the consistency is awesome. I'm still working on trying to learn how to make a whipped beard butter and perfect the craft just a little bit because I want to make a video about how to do it. Um, but here, let me show you. This is my beard butter I made in the last video and consistency is super soft. Like you can just, you can poke all the way through there with like no effort. Oh yeah. <laughs> so regular beard butter is super easy to make at home. Um, this stuff, the whipped stuff, it's, it's kind of an art. Some companies do this, some companies do it well, some companies do it all right. Royal Beardsman, they do it really, really well. Yes, I am talking about them a lot, but they're probably like my favorite new company as far as scents, quality, and price go right now. Um, they are tremendous. But anyways, most beard butters are gonna have shea butter as their main ingredient. Uh, some will have different ones, but shea butter is a great starter. It's just like a staple. It's like industry, gold industry standard, good stuff to use. Um, it's, you, it's hard to go wrong with it. If you do have a nut allergy though, you're probably not gonna wanna go for that. You're gonna wanna go for something with like a mango butter or something, and a mango butter doesn't have any uh, nut product in it. So if you have some kind of peanut or some weird nut allergy, and play it safe and don't put shea butter on your face. Not a lot of people have nut allergies, but some do. So in essence, before I would use the beard balm that has the wax in it in order to shape my beard and keep it the shape I wanted to, um, but it didn't work as well. Now, I prefer the look where I have a more natural looking beard and I use a beard trimmer to shape my beard how I need to shape it and then I will put something like a beard butter in instead of a beard balm which keeps the shape of the beard exactly how it is but it also conditions the beard, moisturizes it and keeps it healthy. I think that beard butter and co-washing were like probably the two greatest like substantial discoveries I made when it comes to beard care. Uh, no joking around and, and it's it's phenomenal stuff. It's it's game changing. You should try it out. Um, and again, guys, Royal Beardsman, I will link them down below. This stuff is phenomenal. Um, if you're going to get one, I would try Dragon Spice. I love that one. Like I said, I have that. It, it's at my house. I didn't want to bring it here to the studio. It's at my house. Um, and I've almost gone, I've gone two thirds of the way through that product already. So inevitably I'm going to use that one up. And it is very rare for me to use a whole product up being as how much of products that go in and out of rotation that I'm trying out. Stuff is great. Customer service is great price is great it's whipped it's a great consistency it has shea butter no wax perfect for me i love it i might have a discount code i'm not sure if i do i will put it right here and you can use that for a discount if you buy from royal beardsman another option if you're trying to save money is make your own beard butter like i did in the last video it's not that hard at all it's pretty easy anyways again make sure you hit the like button or else you're good also if this is your first time to the channel hit the subscribe button there's a bunch of just really cool beard content on here. I try to keep it light and funny and informational as well as helpful. I think I might've just oversold it a little bit. I'm just a guy that's weird that films myself and uploads it to YouTube. Also leave a comment down below if you want a slight chance of me responding to you. I'm not very good at responding to the comments, but once in a while I'll go on a spree where I just get bored and answer a bunch of comments. So you never know. Guys, again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.